Hello, and welcome to the first installment of a series which will discuss, teach, and analyze the drill and tactics designed for the standard United States Infantry Company during the American Civil War, according to Brigadier General Silas Casey. This first video will focus on the structure and organization of a typical United States company of infantry seen during the American Civil War, along with the roles of all the individuals within the company. Before we discuss the structure of a company, let's first talk about what a company actually was during the American Civil War. Now, during the American Civil War, men enlisted and formed under units called companies. These companies were often then formed into bigger units called regiments, which were made up of 10 companies, at least on paper. However, there were some exceptions, and there were some companies that served as independent units, such as the Zouaves de Fouique from Pennsylvania. Now, within regimental companies, however, each company was designated with a letter, usually ranging from the letters A through K, while excluding the letter J. Now, this exclusion was due to the fact that in Latin, J was written as I. Companies, especially early in the war, usually had their own weapons, uniforms, and nicknames, with the nicknames usually referring to a speciality the company had or the counties or areas the men enlisted from. However, as the war progressed, these companies were often standardized according to the regimental standards the company served under. On paper, a, com a company consisted of 80 to 100 men, but in the field, the number was often smaller, usually between 30 to 50 men. Furthermore, the company would consist of the following. One captain, two lieutenants, a first and a second, a first sergeant, four regular sergeants, eight corporals, 84 privates, two musicians, and one wagoneer. In this video series, we will not be discussing the roles of the musicians or the wagoneer because their roles were not heavily covered in the drill. Now that we've talked about the history and definition of what an American Civil War company was, let's talk about the organization and the roles of the men within the company. Now this section will analyze the roles of the men within a company as it's seen on paper. Therefore, we will assume that the company shows perfect company standards and has not suffered any losses. However, in reality, the roles of the men might change or be combined due to loss of attri and attrition, and also the fact that the company would most likely be smaller in the field due to loss and casualties. Now, the commander of a company was the captain. He was the one who would give the orders to a company as a whole. Under the captain would be the first lieutenant. He was the second in command of the company and led one of the two platoons which made up the company. Following is the second lieutenant. Now this man was third in command, and he also commanded the other platoon of the company. Now some companies also had a third lieutenant, which was in line with the regulations of the United States Army, but often in the field, these officers were not commonly seen. Now going down the rank ladder, there was the first sergeant. Now within a company, this man was the highest ranking NCO, and he was also the liaison between the captain and the enlisted men. He was also responsible for the company role, morning reports to the captain, and other administrative duties. Following the first sergeant were the four regular sergeants. And these men were numbered two to five, and their role was to control, maintain the order of, and guide the enlisted men. They also were in charge of sections. Next were the eight corporals. These men were chosen from privates to be assistants to the sergeants in controlling the enlisted men as well and they also were in charge of squads. Finally, there were the privates. And these men were the lowest rank and therefore the common soldier you would think of during the American Civil War. These men did most of the fighting and made up the bulk of the company. Now that we discussed the roles of the company and the men within the company, let's talk about the units within the company and how they were made. Firstly, obviously, there was the company itself. And as said before, it was led by the captain. The company was then broken into two smaller units called platoons. And each of these platoons were under the command of one of the lieutenants. And as said before, the first lieutenant would take control of the first platoon, and the second lieutenant would take control of the second platoon. Further down, each platoon was made up of two units called sections. There were technically a total of four sections within a company, and each section was led by a sergeant. Finally, the smallest unit within a company was the squad. 
and this unit was supposed to be composed of around 10 to 12 men, and each squad was led by a corporal. There were a total of eight squads within a company. Hopefully this video has shed some light on what a company was, the roles of the men within a company, and how the company was structured. Furthermore, this company structure will be used in the future installments on drill tactics, so stay tuned and thank you for watching.